Hey, it's Andrew Brown from Exam Bro, and we're looking at the CIA triad, and that stands for Confidentiality, Integrity, and Availability, and this model is used for describing the foundation to security principles and their trade-offs and relationships, uh, and so just to look at it here quickly, so we have confidentiality, so is a component of privacy that implements to protect our data from unauthorized viewers. And practices can be using cryptographic keys to encrypt our data and using keys to encrypt our keys, so known as envelope encryption. You have integrity, so maintaining and ensuring the accuracy and completeness of your data over its entire life cycle. And practice utilizing asset compliant databases for valid transactions, utilizing tamper, uh, tamper evident or tamper proof uh, hardware security modules, so HSMs, or availability information needs to be made available when needed. So in practice, you want things to be uh, highly available. You want to mi mitigate DDoS attacks. You want to uh, have decryption access. That looks like there's a spell of mistake here. Something looks funny there, but um, the CIA model was, or triad was first mentioned in the NIST publication in 1977. Uh, there have been efforts to expand and modernize or suggest alternatives to the CIA triad because it is really old, right? So one was like in 1998 where we have the six atomic elements of information. So confidential, confidentiality, possession, integrity, authentication, availability, utility. And then 2004, we have NIST engineering principles for information technology security. Um, and they that, that has like 33 security principles. So... Um, the thing with this triad is that you kind of get like a trade-off. They say like if you go in full confidentiality, you might have to make compromises here or there. Um, to what degree? I don't know. But this is a very well-known model. And so it's just good for you to know it, okay?